an intense investigation into a prolific serial killer, an underlying heart condition, and a number of prescription medications. Some seriously tragic details were found in Michelle McNamara's autopsy report. True crime author Michelle McNamara spent the last years of her life investigating the case of the Golden State Killer. She attended the University of Notre Dame, where she earned an English degree, and subsequently enrolled at the University of Minnesota for a master's degree in creative writing. Following graduation, McNamara moved to Los Angeles and became a writer for TV and film, but she was still fascinated by true crime. In 2006, on her husband Patton Oswalt's suggestion, she started a blog called True Crime Diary, where she wrote about cold cases that fascinated her per biography. When I was 14, uh, living outside Chicago, a neighbor of mine was murdered. McNamara's interest in true crime began in high school when a woman in her neighborhood, Kathleen Lombardo, was murdered near McNamara's home. She eventually focused her interest on a series of burglaries, sexual assaults, and murders in California. The crimes were originally attributed to the Visalia Ransacker, the East Area Rapist, and the original Night Stalker, but authorities had a hunch that there was only one individual responsible for the crimes. It was McNamara who dubbed him the Golden State Killer. McNamara did her own research, talked to victims, interviewed investigators, and learned as much as she could about the cases in the hopes of naming the perpetrator and getting justice. Per Vulture, McNamara started researching the Golden State Killer in 2010. As she learned more about the crimes, she decided to write about her sleuthing in a book titled I'll Be Gone in the Dark, One Woman's Obsessive Search for the Golden State Killer. She took care of her daughter by day, and at night, she focused on writing her book and doing research. Her home was filled with boxes of files related to the case, and she constantly communicated with people involved in the investigation. However, the work was starting to get to her, but she persevered as she wanted to get justice for the victims. Of the project, McNamara told her friend via Vulture, If I could do it over, I wouldn't be solving it while I was writing it, because I'm doing both and it's really taking its toll. Tragically, McNamara was in the middle of writing her book when she died. Patton Oswalt had been worried about his wife's health, and he saw how much stress and insomnia was affecting her life. The actor advised his wife to get some much-needed sleep, which is what she did on the night before she died. As reported by the New York Times, McNamara took Xanax and went to bed. The next day, on April 21, 2016, Oswalt went to check on his wife at approximately 9.40 a.m. after dropping their daughter at school. As she was fast asleep and snoring, Oswalt did some work in his home office. Afternoon, Oswalt checked on McNamara again and found her in bed, not breathing. Paramedics arrived shortly after Oswalt called 911, but the rider was pronounced dead at the scene. She was 46 years old. In 2017, Patton Oswalt released a statement regarding his wife's death. He said Michelle McNamara had an undiagnosed heart condition, and the combination of prescription medications she took caused her death per people. Radar Online acquired a copy of McNamara's autopsy report that listed her official cause of death as the effects of multiple drugs. According to the report, there were several medications and a white powdery substance found in the room where she died. The report also noted that she had atherosclerotic cardiovascular disease, a condition in which the arteries get clogged with fatty deposits, which cuts down blood flow per heart.org. The undiagnosed heart condition reportedly contributed to McNamara's death. Based on the findings, McNamara had Xanax, Adderall, and fentanyl in her system at the time of her death. According to the examiner's investigation, her death was accidental. McNamara was more than halfway done with her book when she died, and it was completed with help from Oswalt, her researcher Paul Haynes, and journalist Billy Jensen. I'll Be Gone in the Dark was released on February 27, 2018. The book was also turned into a documentary series of the same name, which premiered on HBO in 2020. Just months after McNamara's book was released, the Golden State Killer, identified as Joseph James D'Angelo, was finally caught. He was sentenced to life in prison without the possibility of parole.